I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. First week back in Miami, and I'm settling in pretty well. I mean, I do miss Germany, of course. I miss my friends there, but I'm not missing the weather. As you can see, I'm in a tank top at the moment, and it's about 75 degrees outside. The perfect temperature. That is definitely something I'm looking forward to this winter. Some of you might not know that my returning to Miami was quite a surprise, actually. My family did not know I would be returning so soon. So I pretty much surprised everybody and caught them off guard. My mom pretty much freaked. She just didn't respond for like 90 seconds. She was just like, are you really there? Is that you? Seriously? I got in on Tuesday and I surprised my grandma on Friday and she kind of had the reaction like, wait a second. You got here Tuesday? It's Friday. What have you been doing, bitch? Why didn't you come see me? Cuban grandmas, you know. She should have been the first on the list, I guess, to avoid that, but she was actually really happy. Got right back into it here in Miami. I met up with some friends on Friday night and I went to Blackbird, which is a club slash bar in Brickell. Pretty local place. Been going there since right after high school. In fact, I saw a lot of people from high school at Blackbird. Miami's a big city, but it's a small town in that crazy sense. You'll be learning a lot more about this city as my blog goes on. This weekend was also Art Miami and Art Basel, which are two art festivals that we have here every year. So the city was packed with tourists, even more than normal, and the traffic has been insane. That I don't miss. Kind of wishing I had that Berlin public transport get me anywhere in 20 minutes. But it's nice to be driving my Mini Cooper again. You know, I feel right, perfect at the steering wheel, with my red candy paint glistening in the sun. Anyway, Saturday, Alex, me, and Scavo went to Art Miami in Wynwood. Checked out the paintings and all the sculptures and all the art there, and we were classy drinking champagne and stuff. <laughs> VIP cards, what, what? Sunday was pretty chill. Just hung out at home all day and then went to my godparents' house for dinner, which we had arroz con pollo, a delicious Cuban dish. It was awesome. So that was my first week here in Miami. Here is the week in review. This is my mom's in shock face. Wait for it, and now she realizes. Uh-oh. Look at her, she's like, she's still like. Look at her. I'm you. So wrong. Oh my God. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> she did the same thing to me, and I'm like, okay. She just couldn't believe it. She say, keeps saying it over and over again. Oh my God, Samantha, you're here. I still don't believe you're home. I think um, you're gonna go poof and disappear me. I wasn't ready. You know, all the stuff I like to have for when you guys come home, which is special. Uh, simple thing as shampoo, conditioner, washing your car. You've been shocked. I've been shocked. I was just taking a shower going. There's nothing here. I'm not ready. Not ready. I'm definitely not ready. But is it a good experience? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh. Now, to surprise my dad, I hid in the trunk of the car and Alex said he needed help with something. What you're looking at here is the end of I-95 heading towards downtown Miami, and that's what you're getting a nice look of here. Pretty awesome, right? Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you guys that I went to the Everglades this 
week with Alex's work friends um, who are here for Art Basel. This is us on an airboat ride through the Everglades. That is uh, sawgrass, which you can survive off of for 30 days. So the Everglades is the slowest moving river in the world. If it doesn't rain, there ain't no water in there. And in the Everglades, you can see a lot of wild animals like snakes and alligators and all that kind of jazz. There is a baby alligator about two years old, so it looks pretty harmless. You know, you can hold them, which we did. And that's another one, another baby, maybe a year and a half to two years old. But here is a huge one. This one's about 70 to 80 years old, and it weighs probably like 2,000 pounds. It's like eight feet long. Now we're playing with a snake here at the wildlife show. And we all got to pet it. Even though Alex doesn't like snakes, he touched it. I was, I was impressed. Okay, I want everybody to listen to the sound he makes. Wait, okay. uh, that's just a small portion of what it's capable of doing. This animal can close its mouth with 2,000 pounds per square inch of closing pressure. That is one of the hardest bite forces on the planet. Now, 2,000 pounds per square inch can sound one of two ways. Okay? Don't do it, don't do it. It can sound like that. We're going to be a really loud, high-pitched screeching noise coming out of my mouth. <laughs> you don't want to hear that one. It's Alex, Mr. Professional, looking sharp for an interview. Really nice suit we bought, and he looks good in it, I think. Anyway, so this is us at Blackbird. Me, Alexis, and Raymond. We've been friends since middle school, so for most of our lives now. And now you are looking at Art Miami in Wynwood. There is just some paintings here. I didn't really take too much video, you know, but here is Scavo and Alex. Woohoo! Oh, and to make Miami a little more Christmassy, we're putting Christmas lights up. Thanks, Alex and Mom. Awesome!